Here's our 93 Eagle Summit GTX again. We had a bit of a problem with this. Uh, we started getting a squeaking noise which coming from somewhere in the engine and it sounded like it might be the turbo. So what we're going to do is use our endoscope to have a look down there and see if we can see what the problem is before we start pulling stuff off. This is the air cleaner. We've taken it out because it's really in the way. Now, as you can see, with the 4G63 in this engine bay, there's not much room for anything else, so it's very cramped. So what we need to do is to get down here and have a look, see what's going on. Down here is where we pull the air cleaner off when the inlet into the turbo. All right, we're going to reach down here and feel the impeller shaft. Now I can feel a, quite a bit of slop left and right, but there's no uh, fore aft movement. But that's that's probably a good thing. Let's get a better look at this using our endoscope. All right, so we've got the endoscope looking in at the impeller, at the compressor impeller, and there doesn't seem to be any obvious contact damage to the housing. Now this is also a good thing, but we won't know for certain until we pull the turbo out completely and have a look at it. Right. We've now taken the turbo off the car and we've done a bit of disassembly work, so let's have a look and see what the problem is. So we've separated the turbine housing from the exhaust housing. Now there's also this large circ clip here, which we've taken off, and now we'll separate the, ca the cartridge from the turbine housing. Right. So, here's the problem. We have movement here, quite a bit of slop in the, in the impeller end, and if we look at the exhaust impeller end, we've got quite a bit more. So that's, that's the problem. Let's, let's see what causes that. So we'll take this apart. And here's the problem. We've got wear on the impeller shaft here, around about 10th hour, and, a, and more wear here, in this case it's around about 30 thousandths of an inch. So there's supposed to be bronze bearings with an oil feed that goes through here and, and uh, provides lubrication. Well this is what typically wears out on, on, uh, on turbines, and particularly this one. The original one was a, a cheap Chinese one and it lasted about 10,000 kilometers. It's kind of underwhelming. So, what happens there? Well, the shaft has to be replaced. There's no obvious damage on the impeller fins here, which means it hasn't hit the housing, and there's no evidence in the housing in here that, in fact, it's, it's contacted it. And if we look in the other housing here, in the compressor housing, there's no damage in here at all, and that's good. And if we look at the impeller itself, there's no damage in that either. So this particular impeller housing and the cartridge this is repairable. If we look at the exhaust housing here, you can see there's, there's cracks in here, there's a crack down there, there's a crack there, there's here in the waste gate, there's more cracks. This thing's a piece of junk. So, not repairable.